What up, y'all? Tina here. We may be edging closer to an Aegon the Conqueror TV show or movie. Isn't this the show we all asked for? Yes, this is what we wanted. This project has been rumored since 2023, and now they've taken a step forward in the process. This is coming from The Hollywood Reporter. While it hasn't been confirmed for full development yet, they do have a writer on board and progress is on the way. All right, so here's the story of Aegon the Conqueror. He is essentially the great-great-great-great-grandfather of Daenerys Targaryen and Rhaenyra Targaryen. All right, so follow me. I'm going to try to make this as easy to comprehend as possible. So there was this place called Valyria. Valyria is where the Targaryens, the Valerians, and other families used to live. It was stated at least 40 families lived there and they all had dragons and they all like dipped into magic. So we all know that Targaryens have what's called dragon dreams, which means sometimes they can dream and see the future. You will have a dragon one day. Daenerys Targaryen told her family like, yo, I just had a dream and Valeria is going to be destroyed by fires. We got to go. So her father and her family, they all packed up. They took about five dragons with them and they moved to Dragonstone and they left. Now, on the contrary, the Valerians had already left Old Valyria way before the Targaryens. Now, the rest of the people back in Old Valyria was like, oh, y'all some cowards. What are y'all running for? But about 12 years later, Old Valyria does face destruction. There's fires, there's earthquakes, volcanoes, and all those families and dragons were completely destroyed. So remember, the Targaryens had already fled the scene before that and moved to Dragonstone. All right, so Aegon was eventually born. And when I say Aegon, I mean Aegon the First, Aegon the Conqueror, Aegon the Dragon. Aegon eventually had to marry his older sister, Visenya. You know, that's what Targaryens do anyway. They like to keep it in the family. Essentially, his sister would have been heir to the throne, but with him being the male in the family, his dad probably was like, hey, you need to marry your sister because she ain't gonna be able to sit on the throne, but you can. So that's pretty much how that arrangement took place. Now, people said... He married Visenya out of obligation, but his true love was his other sister, Rhaenys. So he ended up just marrying both of them. He rode the dragon Valerion, Visenya rode Vagar, and Rhaenys rode Meraxene. Aegon also had a half-bastard brother. His name was Oris Baratheon. So while living on Dragonstone, Aegon had a dragon dream that a great winter was coming from the north, and that threat could only be defeated with a Targaryen on the throne, uniting all the realms. The prince that was promised, it was a song of ice and fire. All right, so King Argelac reached out to Aegon and wanted him to marry his daughter. Aegon sent his messengers back and told King Argelac, hey, I'm good, I already have two wives, I ain't really looking for a third, but my brother Oris, he's free. Let's hook them up, let's make that deal. King Argelac, cut the messenger's hands off and sent them back to Aegon like, yo, why would I let my daughter marry your bastard brother? What type of sense does that make? Aegon was like, bro, did you forget that I have dragons? Did you really just cut my messenger's hands off? And at that point, Aegon was like, yeah, I do have dragons. Why am I just chilling here on Dragonstone? I'm about to take over this whole territory. So, he essentially got on his dragon and he took over House Stark, House Lannister, House Aaron, House Hightower. They either all died or bent the knee. Now, don't get it twisted. He did conquer because he felt like he was disrespected. But his biggest motivation was he had the dragon dream that the White Walkers were coming. And he felt like, look, y'all, y'all not going to be able to handle them. It's going to take a Targaryen sitting on the throne to bring the realm together to get rid of those White Walkers. It may not be me, it might be my grandson, but there is a prince that's promised to bring all of the realms together to be prepared for the long night. When this great winter comes, Runero, all of Westeros must stand against it. And if the world of men is to survive, a Targaryen must be seated on the Iron Throne. A king or queen, strong enough to unite the realm against the cold and the dark. Aegon called his dream the song of ice and fire.
Now, don't get it twisted. Aegon wasn't the only one conquering. His wives were out on their dragons taking out towns too. That's why if you look at the Targaryen sigil, it's a three-headed dragon. His wives was out there getting busy too. He eventually flew his dragon to the Crown Lands and said, yep, I'm gonna name this King's Landing because I'm the king and I just landed here. And that was the start of the Targaryen rule. They sat on the throne for almost 300 years. Now, some people think that the problem with the show is it's just going to show Aegon conquering, you know, the people, House Stark, House Aaron, they couldn't really fight him back because he had dragons. So some people feel like this is not going to be interesting. He's just going to go in and just take over so quickly and easy. But I'm sure they'll find some kind of creative way to make this story interesting. Me personally, I'm ready, but... I'm also not going to get too excited because HBO does have the habit of scrapping or changing projects. For instance, the rumored Jon Snow show, we still don't have that. Corliss Valerian was supposed to be getting his own show, but now they're saying, hey, we might actually make that animated. It's cheaper. They even had a whole episode for a TV show called The Blood Moon filmed. They spent about $80 million in. It was going to focus on like the origins of the White Walkers. But guess what? HBO looked at that episode and was like, yeah, nah, we ain't gonna do this. So they scrapped the whole project. So until we get an official confirmation that they are moving forward with Aegon's conquest, we gotta kind of sit still, you know, because right now they're in the developing process. Nothing has been confirmed yet. But how do you guys feel about an Aegon the Conqueror show? Are you down for it? Leave your comments below. Thanks for hanging out with me. Peace.